so tired. Gonna make some, some breakfast. Nowadays I have to get up a lot earlier than before. I have to sometimes make early morning Chinatown trips and sometimes our earliest deliveries are around 11 o'clock. Quarantine days, man. It's got me going a little crazy. Right now I'm enjoying my coffee. I mean, I usually get up late, late, lately because, you know, only time I can actually wake up late is uh, around this time, so. And catching up with all my emails. It's uh, Monday the 30th. As you can see, the streets are pretty empty. We all worry about this uh, pandemic. I'm sure that will pass and we'll, we'll come out stronger out of it. So it's been two weeks since we decided to close the restaurant. People have been donating uh, via Venmo to our account. And we've been taking that money and essentially making bentos and donating them to healthcare professionals throughout New York City. For the bentos, we prep them today for delivery tomorrow. Uh, it's better when it's cold because then the doctors, nurses, and health professionals, they pop it in the microwave. Reason why I called you, because it's like, I wanna do talk about the takeout stuff. For now, I don't know. I'm not even sure if the takeout option is good for us. <laughs> I've been talking to some people and definitely takeout and delivery helps for some. Some, it's not even worth it. More than half of our appetizers, we don't serve for takeout. You know, they contain raw fish. Mm -hmm. um, so they won't have that full Jeju noodle bar experience. People are getting uh, jumped or beat up, you know, because the fact that they're Asian. So what is your thought about that? The risk is like beyond great. Although we have to be mindful of the business as well, right? I don't know what's the right, right or wrong answer. I think we do have some time to outweigh the pros and cons. All right, I just want to check up with you. Stay safe, man. Thank you, Chef. You too, Chef. Okay, bye. Like I do every morning, I check on the qualities of everything we do. I'll go over our counter for all the pastries. So first I check on what we call the cross section. So all the cut out for the Vinozzi to make sure the quality is good. We have a lot of uh, our friends in uh, the uh, healthcare uh, community. Uh, we're gonna do some uh, charitable donation for them, for the team, to make sure we can support as much as we can. So one hospital needs 55 bentos and another hospital needs 50. These were all made yesterday. We got some more here and we have some more here. Beverage coolers are now bento coolers. We started at, what, 70 bentos a day? Mm -hmm. Now today we're doing 250. Yes. Just did our drop. Heroes, on to the next one. Let us know if you need more. Yeah. All right, anytime. See, these guys are always super nice. All right, we just opened the shop a few minutes ago. Now we are doing some prep. One of the morning preps actually are pillow egg sandwich, which is right here. It's a strange time. Uh, it reminds me a lot of when we first opened the bakery. We see the same people from the neighborhood coming uh, to get some bread, to get some Vinoz you know, And it's nice to see the community. Uh, it's nice to be here for them. It's nice to be uh, a part of uh, something a little different. Going to a restaurant right now. Empty restaurant, empty restaurant. Checking, make sure everything is all right. Uh, make sure I don't smell gas and things like that, you know. Because, you know, once the restaurant is not operated anymore, uh, it tends to like break down very fast. I don't know what's, what causes it. At the end of the day, this is our home, so it's very, very important to check every day. Back at the restaurant, the staff is actually already cooking. Chicken legs braising. Two walks. Check it out. This huge stock pot of napa cabbage. Curry in the making. And we got some potatoes, carrots, all this broccoli. 90 cups of rice. And we have got the production line going. And these guys are rock stars. Yeah, we ready for the next round.
Right now, I'm sitting at the empty restaurant and make me feel very sad. We used to do, do almost uh, 150 to 200 covers every day, but now everything went back to zero. We took so much effort and energy to build this place, and it was so fortunate to have this kind of you know, establishment. I personally have to file unemployment myself. Uh, anything will help this at the moment. I wish I can get something. My goal is make sure we have a place to come back after this disaster goes away. We need that hope. I'm uh, getting ready uh, to pack an order for uh, in front of us at the hospital. We're very thankful for um, everything they do for us at the hospital and want to make sure that we can give back as much as we can. So I've prepared some DKA right here. This is uh, the Kunya man. I'm gonna put this in the box for them and uh, they'll have it for breakfast tomorrow morning. We just had a call not so long ago talking about a thousand dollar donation, which is a hundred bentos. Throughout the entire morning while we were doing delivery, donations have been coming in and we keep very close track of it. This is literally from the very first donation to the very last. This morning, we've received 52 individual donations. Uh, pretty overwhelmed by the support and love. I'm gonna see Drew's advice. He's like legendary uh, restaurant tour from New York City. He owns a Nobu, uh, he owns a Tribeca Grill. He always gave me important advice for me. I'm gonna ask him, you know, some of the cons my concern and what his perspective is. Long time no see. We're good. We're good, all right? So I have to wear a mask, you know, to quarantine. So what is like a, a lot of big restaurants does? How, what are they, how do they, how are they gonna survive this? Uh, and the way I see it, we spend money three ways. Mm -hmm. Rent, food, labor. Reopening is going to be a big hardship because when we reopen, there's no guarantee all of our staff is going to come back. A guy like you, yeah. I feel the most for because you have a small restaurant that's been unbelievably popular and doing good business. And how could you see this coming? Yeah, I've had a mask on for the past almost six hours. It's definitely taking a toll. I don't know how the healthcare professionals do it, how the doctors, nurses, and all these guys do it. I'm actually in Chinatown right now for a quick errand. This is all the groceries I need for two days. Chicken, we have Napa cabbage. Uh, we have some Shaoxing wine and vegetables in here. The guys at the supermarket is working very, very hard around the clock. A 15 minute, minute errand or like a grocery run is now turning into something that would take an hour and a half. Just got back to the restaurant, and boom! We are restocked for tomorrow. Food production is about done for the day. Some more laptop work, logistics organizing, a uh, little more donations organizing, and a lot of social media stuff. So Andy is back here in his cubicle. I'm gonna be sitting in my cubicle. Right now, it's about a little after five. Last thing I need to do is drop off the check to the post office. So everybody needs to get paid. I'm walking back home, uh, crossing Union Square. And it's funny because they have all these uh, markers on the floor. We want to keep distance from each other. Six feet. At a time like this, when almost nobody is working, my staff is able to come in. Uh, they're still getting paid well. It's pretty amazing. We're very fortunate to still have something to do. We used to do, on a busy day, about like 250 covers, and now we do zero. I just arrived home, and after gathering all this information from other people and, you know, Talking with the Drew today, uh, I think it's the situation is gonna get worse. Employees and myself, uh, safety is more important, and you know that delivery pickup service. So, uh, at the moment, I don't think I'm gonna open up uh, delivery and pickup for next week. I just got home a little bit ago, and I have some uh, spare rib cooking right here. Inside, here. Spare ribs with five spice. A little bit of rock sugar. Just so want something quick, easy, nutritious. Probably gonna catch up on a little bit more work, do some more social media stuff for, for 886, and probably a very solid hour of video games. Yeah, that's the plan for the rest of the day. I'm gonna make uh, pasta with leek. It should be a very quick and simple dish. You're gonna enjoy it. If you're stressed out, you always need ice cream. It's not good for you, but it releases your stress, so. 
uh, I'm in a special room right now. Uh, I'm gonna be a father soon, so I'm getting uh, ready uh, to build this uh, beautiful room for uh, my little boy coming soon. I have uh, all this stuff here, getting ready. I'm pretty excited about it, and at least it's, uh, it's a good news with everything's happening now. Currently 10.30 at night, trying our best to stay busy. Again, we're very lucky that we are busy. I know a lot of people think that we have more time uh, with this uh, virus, but it's not true for everybody. And actually there's a lot less of us. So it's actually more work. It is a very tough situation. I don't think we're gonna do the takeout delivery options. Uh, for me, I think this is, this is a way too dangerous uh, for our employee at the moment. And I feel very guilty if somebody gets it. I see a lot of chefs uh, doing a lot of great things for the community, for hospitals, helping out. I'm sure um, other chefs on other restaurant tour, they have to stay open. And I really respect that. I wish all the best and they can succeed and make a better uh, situation for themselves. Hopefully we can feed more frontliners and help people pay their staff. Hopefully uh, get back to normal very soon. Let's go through this together. Thanks for tuning in.